Alright YouTube, welcome back to another video. This time we've got a mail call for some stuff I picked up from Memory Station and um, Three Master Miles in Buford, Georgia, you might have heard of it, so let's have a look. All right, so first thing, and forgive the shaky cam, I'm going handheld. I want the camcorder back at home, but best thing, I've got two, two of these Atlas Pair Window Coaches undecorated. And look at the detail on the bottom of this thing. That's pretty good. You can't see it, but there's um, detail packets in there. So Atlas for... Or 50 each, eh, that might be a tad high, but considering how much passenger cards usually goes for, that's that's pretty good. So that and just the fact that a, I have never found any Atlas passenger equipment, but it's Atlas. It's going to run fantastic. It's already got your mountain wheels on it, and b the fact that it's undecorated. You never see anything undecorated. You either have to strip it completely or find the right color and strip all the lettering. This is completely, you know, it's undecorated. So I can get all the details and then go back uh, and paint it. It's, of course, passenger scheme, so it's going to be black. Green stripe down the windows and then Hawking Valley Railroad, the car number and the logo on the top or bottom or maybe both. I, I'll figure it out. But... This is the start of the passenger equipment for the Hawking. Uh, the Union Pacific cars, I'm going to leave Union Pacific because they'll go with the F units. But these, I figure about, oh, one or two more passenger cars, maybe. An uh, observation, heavyweight OBS, if I can find it. A decent one. And then obviously some baggage mail, and since I've got Pensy or change, I get some of those Pensy RB06. And then of course round out the front, five or six, you know, REA express reefers, all that sort of thing. But um, as far as just on first glance, these look, I mean, the, the, the detail is awesome. So they might be limited to a pretty wide radius, 30, but hey, I'm planning on having 30. So... This, um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really, really excited about these, as you can tell. So, anyways, moving on. The other things I picked up, we got a roundhouse Milwaukee Road ribbed hopper. Uh, I don't have an air change with the Milwaukee, but these are one of those cars that really anchors the era, because they were just so commonplace. Uh, that and those B&O round roof box cars, which I already have one from Foxville. I need a couple more, but still... Yeah, Milwaukee Road unbuilt kit completely, so I can take this and do it at my leisure. I think I think the floor on these has more detail so I can weather the inside. I'll have to double check, but picked up that. Picked up a Frisco SLSF. This is another um, iron ass kit. These were all in the secondhand department at... Oh, Trainmaster. No, wait a minute. Sorry, these aren't. The coaches. Coaches were Trainmaster. These were Memory Station. It's a little shop down in Watkinsville, about 20 minutes from here. I gotta do a video on it sometime, but um, obviously you can see it's already been partially assembled. You got the frame with the weight. Uh, it's got horn hook couplers and plastic wheels, but eh. That's okay. You know, I'm not nitpicky. It ain't that hard to swap the wheels out and the couplers. I don't like Acurail because look at that screw mount. 
they were doing screen outs before other people were. So there's that. And then to round it off, we've got a Proto... I'm Proto 2000. Yeah, Proto 2000. Proto 2000 Southern Railway 50-foot double-door automobile boxcar. And the built date on this was at 10.44. So fairly faded out. I'm trying to find the built date for that Fisco. Yeah. But um, anyways, Proto. And again, you can somebody, I don't know who, first reassembled this thing, but, and I gotta get my hands right. Oh crap. If you look at it, I'm trying to get where you can see this. Look at that, he put all the brake rigging on there. It's got metal wheel sets, it's got Katie coupler, screw mount. He's already got the weight in there, and the weight is screwed in to the um, to weight. So, yeah, I'm not going to do anything with this, really. If I do anything, it's probably just going to be paint that weight. But, I mean, you can see there's all the underbody details. So, um, what was the price on this? This was like, like oh, shoot, 10 bucks, which pretty good. Those two were probably eight, and then of course the passenger car was 50, but again, it's an Atlas car. I didn't know Atlas made, I've never seen the Atlas passenger stuff, and underbody detail already on there, and it's undecorated detail pack. So uh, it probably takes a pretty wide radius. I'm planning on having 30 radius curves anyways, so this, um, yeah, but anyways, that's going to do it for this layout update. Uh, I will... If you're watching this after reading one of my posts on My Railroad Hobbies, you already know this. But for those of you who don't, the house closes on September 30th. So, I'm really hoping about the end of the year. Well, I'm hoping, really hoping about November will be in there. I can get to dismantling the old sections. Take the time to make myself stop and get my workbench built and organized and set up. And then hopefully about Christmas, January, um, I'll take the truck, run down to the lumber yard, and start billing. So uh, it's coming, people. Long, slowly but surely, it is coming. So, anyways, that is going to do it. As always, oh, sorry, I was down on my knees. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everybody, take care. God bless. This Goose and Caboose production saying, I'll see you on the next video. All right, everybody. Bye.